As an Uber Eats and DoorDash driver, I have personally witnessed fast food prices absolutely skyrocketing. So I wasn't really that surprised when I saw this CNBC report confirming this. I'm going to play you some of that report in a second, but check out the video I did on a very expensive trip to Arby's. Okay, guys, rock and roll delivery here. Delivering the DoorDash, the Uber Eats, the Grub, up you name it, I deliver it. But check this out. I just picked up two bags of Arby's, okay? One, two. Check this out. Are you ready for this? Almost $52. Two bags of Arby's. Is that normal? I mean, that just sounds outrageous to me. $50 for two bags of Arby's? Only consider this, guys. This customer's paying me at least $10 to deliver this order. And they are most likely, let me rephrase that, they are most definitely paying Uber Eats fees. So this could easily be a $70 order of Arby's. Two bags, $70. Let that sink in. I think prices have officially gone through the roof, guys. <laughs> is it expensive where you are? I mean, this just seems crazy. It's Las Vegas, but come on, that's nuts. Okay, and so the bit I didn't play you in that video is when I was leaving Arby's, there was a lady checking out and she had spent a whopping $55. I think she was just feeding herself. Check this out. Did, did he say that was $55? Yeah, crazy, right? Wow. It's getting expensive out here to eat, isn't it? <laughs> 55 bucks, oh my God. Okay, like I said, guys, I wasn't imagining things. Now, flash forward to today, CNBC does a report on the skyrocketing cost of fast food. Check it out. Remember the dollar menu? Well, you may be hard pressed to find any fast food item that actually costs a dollar anymore. $17 for three filet of fishes at McDonald's? Are you kidding me? I don't have the money to buy fast food anymore. Would you just miss the days when fast food was actually cheap? Why are fast food prices so high and where will they go from here? Between 2022 and 2023, the cost of food, beverage, and packaging rose around 11% for both McDonald's and Chipotle. Okay, so packaging has risen over 10%. That's all the wrappers, the cups, the straws, all that stuff's gone up. But that's not the main reason we're paying up the wazoo. Labor is the main culprit. Food is about a third of the cost of the menu item. So even as those costs moderate, in many cases, and particularly given the, the laws that we're seeing in California and some of the other, you know, minimum wage laws and just increases that are happening, is that that wage pressure remains elevated. Okay, so what that guy's talking about is when California and a few other states implemented a $20 an hour minimum for fast food workers. Fast food workers across our state getting a big raise starting today, their minimum wage going up to $20 an hour. Some franchise owners warn, though, the increase will lead to higher prices for customers. Of course, the fast food restaurants simply fired everybody, and, you know, they're in the progress of replacing them with robots. Cali Express touts itself as the world's first fully autonomous restaurant. Okay, you're going to help me get Wally to make me a burger. To the robot chefs behind the counter, almost everything here is made by machines. The fries by a robot called Flippy. From December 2023 to February 2024, the national average for a quick service restaurant check was about $18, which is 4.5% more than the same time period last year. That's a higher percentage increase than both casual and fine dining. And full service restaurants are capitalizing on the decreasing price gap. How is this Chili's three for me only $10.99 when fast food is so expensive? It could be because we don't have to pay for any mascots. My brother and his girlfriend actually went to Chili's and had that three for me deal. And they said they loved it. They sat down, they relaxed. Why would you pay $18 or $19 or $55 for fast food when you can walk into a restaurant, sit down and get served? You can obviously only push your price higher for so long. And that for so long may have arrived. McDonald's missed earnings estimates in the first quarter of 2024, and an Evercore analyst called it one of the most sobering quarters for the fast food giant. Others like KFC and Pizza Hut are experiencing the same consumer pullback. We must be laser focused on affordability. 
which means good entry-level price points available every day. So what do you guys think? Has fast food prices gone through the roof where you live? Are you doing something different now? Has your fast food routine changed? Maybe you don't eat fast food. Maybe you eat at home now. Well, guys, leave it in the comment section below. Please like and share this video too. Make sure if you subscribe, you hit that little bell so you get notified every time I release new content. And until the next time, guys, let's keep rocking. But most importantly, let's keep rolling. Do me a solid and just check out this video over here. This one right over here. Right, got my finger. Really helps you guys watch all my videos. So if you go to my channel and check out my videos, guys, I really would appreciate it. Okay, guys, thank you so much in advance.